Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be doing my New York City haul for you guys today. I got six items for you guys um, from, the, from my trip there. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into them. Um, my first one is from Forever 21. I got this uh, in the like Times Square of NYC and my mom wanted to go to Forever 21 and I heard that there was a men's section in there so I went in with her and I, uh, I came out. This is how the t-shirt looks like. It's a dark gray t-shirt um, with a grungy effect put on it. Um, so there's like some washed out features put like where the, where the neck lining is right there. You can kind of see, I hope you can kind of see that since uh, it's still kind of blurry. Um, but yeah, there's that and then there's some more fading out going on there. It gives it a nice uh, distressed look and it does remind me of the surface to air t-shirt that released a while back. Um, so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll have it right here. Oh, sorry, right here. Um, how the t-shirt looks like. So it's kind of like a darker version of that, I guess you could say. And um, I got this for 10 bucks. So it was a really good price um, for just a really nice, simple t-shirt to have. the next pickup is something that I got in Soho. I picked uh, the art subway train uh, to go there and I was not successful with Supreme. Um, there was only the last release that was uh, in the store and I wasn't really feeling any of the t-shirts uh, or the hats at all. So I skipped out on that um, and I went straight to Alexander Wang afterwards, which is like on the other side of Soho compared to um, where Supreme is at in Soho. Um, so. This is uh, what I got from Alexander Wang. Actually, no, uh, let me first show you the bag. Uh, so here's, here's, the, here's what the bag looks like. Um, they put the, the uh, article inside this um, nice compact backpack uh, right here. Um, and it's all white with Alexander Wang printed at the bottom of both sides. And uh, once you open it up, you have this right here. It's a small little mad, matted finish folder uh, with Alexander Wang printer right here in a nice glossy finish. Um, and this is where they put your receipt. I really like the small little details that they put in their packaging. Um, it really tells a lot about the brand that they really do care about the customer ser uh, service and whatnot. Um, it was a really good experience there. All the staff there was really nice that helped me out. Um, and uh, yeah, it comes in um, this wrapping paper really nice uh, it has like Alexander Wang spammed all over it and uh, it has like this sticker right here which holds it uh, the plastic bag together and no, the, the wrapping paper together and it says Alexander Wang right there embossed uh, so you can you can just slide it out right here I saw Godsway he was like trying to rip it right here to open it but you can just like slide it out like that um, so now that I have the t-shirt out you can probably tell already what I got and yes I did get the classic glow mid neck tee um, from Alexander Wang. So here's what it looks like. I've got it in the heather, uh, the heather gray or the dark heather gray as I like to call it. Since it's a little bit darker than the usual heather gray that's seen on clothing. Um, so here it is. I got it for 80 bucks, of course, 80 bucks US um, with no taxes, of course, since I am in NYC. And uh, starting off, um, it uh, has some tags. Here it is, it says Alexander Wang there. It has, where is it, uh, the T. Of course, T by Alexander Wang. There, can you see that? There you go. Um, and then it has like this see-through plastic, which basically just tells you to remember to read the uh, washing instructions that's located on the inside of the T-shirt. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, you know, you can just take that out. It's just a knot that they have on. God, I can't take off the now I know. Anyways, um, going on with this review of the t-shirts. Uh, so yeah, it uh, has a bunch of uh, tags put onto it and um, it has the inside tag right here. It says T by Alexander Wang. I'll do a zoom up of that. Um, and the cotton that's put onto this is called uh, cl their classic Pima cotton. Um, I'm not sure what Pima cotton is, but I do know it's freaking soft. Um, it's like really soft. And uh, it has, uh, of course, you know, the, the scoop neck, 
right there. Um, it's really lightweight also, so you really do get your money's worth out of this t-shirt uh, for it being 80 bucks. Um, so I'm really happy about this purchase. So my next pickup is from Barney's New York. Uh, I got this at an outlet mall. Um, so here it is, Barney's New York. I'm not sure if you can see that. There we go. There we go. Barney's New York outlet mall, no, outlet. And I got this in an outlet mall. Um, it's like an hour away from uh, New York City and New Jersey. So yeah, I was able to scoop up another Alexander Wang t-shirt, or no, not a t-shirt, but uh, another piece from Alexander Wang. And I was able to get this gray long sleeve from them. And guess how much? It was originally 120 and I got it for 49 bucks. Can't go wrong with that. I was like, what, 49 bucks? And of course, I have another essential piece with me as well as of course, you know, with my other Alexander Wang piece. Um, for me, I really like Alexander Wang's essential pieces. Um, so I think I'm gonna be sticking to that. Like I'm just gonna be getting um, essentials from Alexander Wang because I really do like uh, their essential pieces that they have out. So anyways, going back to the review of this, it's a long sleeve, it's a gray long sleeve and it's kind of like a different shade of gray um, than the other uh, gray that's put onto my Alexander Wang tee. This is kind of like a bluish gray. I don't know, it's, it's really hard to explain, especially because it's not even showing up properly on camera, but uh, it's definitely kind of looking like a bluish or like a clay colored uh, gray, if you know what I mean. And the cotton that's put onto it isn't as soft as the t-shirt, uh, t-shirt's uh, cotton quality, but it is very unique in its own way. It just looks like a plain gray long sleeve but when you actually uh feel it it has like bumps on it so this is uh i'm pretty sure it says on their website on alexander wang's or barney's website that this is like an uneven cotton like when they made it it's purposely uneven so it gives a really nice texture to it and i really do like that um so as i said the small details really do count and uh, i really like how uh they kind of made a twist on just a regular looking long sleeve. I got this in a size medium and it fits me like how uh, my Alexander Wang t-shirt fits me. Uh, so it definitely does give kind of a, a drapey look as you saw from the t-shirts, uh, the Alexander Wang t-shirt uh, on body shot. So it's a little bit of a drapey look that uh, I have while wearing it. Afterwards, so afterwards, um, we went uh, further out in the outlet mall, and uh, we found a U.S. Polo a sign, and I really wanted to get a watch from there um, since I wanted to get one in Times Square, the uh, Polo sign from Times Square, but they didn't have the watch in stock, so I decided why not? Let's go in there and let's find out if they have the watch that I wanted, and they did. Uh, this was originally. 39 bucks and I got it for $28 so here's what it looks like it's just a really nice simple gold watch you know nothing too expensive to have on you just a really nice uh, simple classy looking watch this is actually my second watch that I've owned uh, so I'm trying to step it up with uh, my accessory game not just like with hats All right, I'm gonna wrap this video up pretty quick now since I gotta, I gotta eat dinner. Um, so uh, the next item up is a piece I got from uh, the Nike factory store there. And it's this dry fit thin hoodie, all white in a size medium. It fits me perfect actually. And uh, I really like this, it's eight bucks. And this was originally 35 bucks. Really nice and simple, not too much to talk about it. It has this nice rubber. Uh, Nike check right there. Uh, so anyways, let's get on to the on body shot And 
And the last item up is from Ventrill. Um, this is uh, from PacSun's store um, from the outlet mall that I went to. So here it is. This is the Mallrats sweatshirt, of course, with the hoodie, obviously. And uh, it has uh, the two hashtags right there. You know, of course, Ventrill's signature symbol right there on the arm or the sleeves. It has some more symbols like uh, another hashtag, baseball, um, cursor, middle fingers, and then after a soccer ball right there. Same thing on the other side. And on the back, which is my favorite, it says mall rats and it has the two hashtags in a bigger font. Then on the front of uh, the sweatshirt and all the way on the bottom, it says bin trail. So I got this in a size medium. It fits me really good, just a little bit baggier than a size medium would. And that's how I like my hoodie. So really like this purchase. You can say what you want. It's an overhyped brand or hype beast, but really I've been really eyeing up Bintro for a while now. So I'm really happy that I was able to finally get a piece from them. And by the way, I got this sweater for 20 bucks and the original price was 84 bucks. So really big price difference. I was really happy that I got it at a really good sale price. So that's it for this video guys. Make sure to comment down below how you feel about my pickups. If you have any questions on my pickups that I got. Of course, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. Make sure to give my channel a subscribe to get notified on my new uploads uh, that will be coming out with if you guys are interested in any of my content. And uh, other than that, peace out guys. I'll see you guys on my next YouTube video.